now we're moving to the goggles. So, Mariana, what is the story behind this tattoo, then? Chloe and her punctuality and her lateness is getting ridiculous. Mm -hmm. It's important to keep time. It's kind of like a reminder. Yes, so she won't be late again. Yeah, yeah. I don't want no watch. I own a watch. I don't need a tattoo of a watch. How would you feel now, Marianne, seeing your daughter cry? It's not nice to see her upset. So are you regretting putting this tattoo on Chloe? Um, not really. Seven. Six. six five. Four. I can't do it. Three. I can't take them off. Two. One. <gasps> oh, I'm too scared. It's fuck it, I just need to do it. I think that your eyes are still closed, Imogen. <laughs> what the f was that? What is it? It's a mute bomb. See if it works, mate. Push it. Swear to God, you touch me, Kyle. You're a me button tattooed on me, Kyle. Whoa! She is fuming. Dick. You see the size of it? I wouldn't even imagine. It's not even like in the middle. It's like going towards me back as well. He's got a meatball and tattoos on me, Kyle. <laughs> Sorry. The phone just me, Kyle, I swear to God. That's too far. Don't you think I was going to react? I thought we wanted to break up. That's why I put it on there. I, I didn't know. fucking piss or what? I, I didn't know. Shut up, was... Stephen, shut up. Kyle, can you explain why you got the mute button? It's because I can never get a word in when we're trying to talk. Shouldn't be. Such a boring twat, then, should you? <gasps> it's just so big. Why would you get it so big? I didn't mean to get it that big. You, did, you designed it, so obviously you did being too high up. I don't want to look at it anymore, anyway. And it's so hard to hide as well, it's just... I oh, know. Don't remind me, Bear, please. Like it? It's my ride. And it has the date that I found out. Find out what? And that's the date that Cheyenne found out Ryder's health condition, the L clad. And um, Cheyenne would have to wake up every two hours, feed Ryder, make sure that Ryder was breathing, making sure Ryder was healthy. She handled it like a boss, man. Corey and I just started a nonprofit to bring awareness to metabolic conditions, rage regardless. It's our symbol right there, rage regardless. And that's Ryder's hand. You did such a good job. I really thought it was going to be your dick. <laughs> good job, y'all. Yeah. I'm glad you Thank like you. it, yo. Right, Charlotte, I think it's best. I'm gonna put you out your misery and I'm gonna count down from five. Yeah? Yeah. Five, Bye. four, three, two, one. Oh my God. Obviously, a dad means the world to her, and he's no longer here now. 
Charlotte Dawson is Les Dawson's daughter, comedy legend, and I think it's only right. She's a comedy legend too, and they should be together forever. She reminds me so much of him, even though I didn't get to meet him in so many ways, and I just think that she should have a little bit of him with that all the time, because you are a bit of him, and he'd be so proud of you. Do you like it? Yeah, I love it. It's such a funny <laughs> book. <laughs> oh, <God>, <laughs> I absolutely love my tattoo that you've got for me. Tell you what, at least my dad's always got my back, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, we're about to see the tattoo that Hugh designed for fellow artist Shawl. I can't do it. What's the story behind this tattoo? <laughs> um, Cheryl's autistic. She's been struggling all her life, basically, <coughs> thinking that she's strange, not fitting in, and it all made sense when she was properly diagnosed. So it's a symbol to celebrate her autism because it's allowed her to become the great artist that she is today. A light bulb, because obviously how her mind works and the jigsaw, because you feel like you don't fit in, but you do fit in. <laughs> That's like possibly the nicest thing anyone's ever done for me. <laughs> like literally from the bottom of my heart, that is one of the nicest times I've ever seen. we have ever had. I just hope Hugh doesn't bring us to tears for all the wrong reasons. Kiss me. Wait. Why'd you put this on me? Gay. <laughs> you playing? You not gay for real. You gay for real? And you're playing, right? Are you for real, for real right now? Yes. When did you become gay? I'm bisexual. Being bisexual in our household, you just straight gay. What's wrong with being gay? Why did you feel you have to tell me like this? I'm trying to stop crying. I don't think nothing's wrong with being gay. You didn't have to come out like this. You know you didn't. Not to me. Like, I hate that you felt like you couldn't just tell me. I'm your sister. I'm gonna love you regardless. I think you're perfect. I think you're great. Like, I think you're living your dream. I think you are awesome. I think you are doing everything. Like, I'm gonna love you forever. And you know that. Hug it out. This is amazing. <laughs> you put boobs on my back. <laughs> Get these goggles off me now. Should we do it? Yeah, I think we should, because I'm starting to lose my shit. You start, Brad, from the count of five. Five, four, four three, three, two, two one. Brad, I'm telling you now. You crazy bastard. You have to. <laughs> oh, Terry. My boy. Didn't expect it. So, what is the meaning behind the tattoo? It's just to show her how much she means to me. She changed her life for me. Literally, you've become my rock in my world. 
just giving, giving up all what you used to do, just for little old me. No, <laughs> little old me. No. <laughs> I really wasn't expecting it. It's one of the nicest tattoos I've ever I think seen. it's so beautiful. <laughs> I think it's the beautifulest tattoo I've ever seen. I feel like I want one. <laughs> I've heard you can get free parking with it as well. <laughs> <laughs> free parking? Bear! Before coming in here, you were both madly in love and we could see it, but now has it made you even more stronger? Definitely. Power couple. <laughs> Arrogate! <laughs> oh, that was so sweet, Bear. I know, babe, I love a happy ending. Well, you're not getting one of me. Come emotional. on, babe, let's emotional. go. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Do you like it? I love it, yeah. Good. It means something to us, doesn't it? So. Symbolic. Yeah, it's symbolic. In five seconds, you may remove your fear goggles. One. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Oh my God, what am I actually going to say to make this better? Oh, you don't mean it. <laughs> Why would you do that? <laughs> I mean, I'm sure you could get the poo covered up, but you could make it look like a cupcake with the icing it on the top. And it could look like you were eating a cupcake. Becky? Do you think we're right? You put the f***ing sh** on my leg. It just explains you talking Yeah. Yeah, but it wouldn't is well, it? Yeah. Well, talking I tell you secrets, you talk to mum. That's what it is. So Becky always talks about Danny to her mum, and now she's got a turd on her leg. Makes sense? That's the idea behind it. Yeah. Hard word. <sighs> Are you serious? I don't get it. You always thought I was gay. Actually, I'm bisexual and I'm secretly in love with you. You don't think this is kind of extreme? Yeah. It's been so hard to even, like, bring it up because I'm scared of rejection. He's been dating guys for so long, it was just like, oh, my gay best friend. Maybe in a different setting, it would have worked just fine, but... I honestly was not expecting the secret. It's just a lot to believe. So, Taj, where do you want to go from here? You've always been there for me. Like, you were, like, my rock. And I just don't want to lose you as a best friend. I don't think you'll ever lose me as a best friend. Y'all really have such a beautiful friendship yeah. and beautiful love. Y'all are soulmates. That's fact. I think that I'm happy that he got it off his chest. Yeah. So, I still love you, and I'm here for you. Like, no matter what. Me and Nico, we're so proud of you for speaking your truth. Absolutely. Because a lot of people don't do that. Ever. Thank you. We love Sorry, you guys. Sorry, Tosh. We love you guys. Oh, my titty. Yay. Thanks for coming, I love guys. It. Five. Four. Three. Two.
Is that, like, is that how little friendship is? <laughs> stand to see PG upset. This is so bad. I need to go speak to him. I just don't f***ing understand. Like, why? Like, f***ing, the joke is a joke. Like, I can, I can take a joke better than, like, most people, but f*** me. I feel like a massive dickhead. I do, really do. I could have just... It could have been anything. But that was the fine line. That was... So you're happy with the result today? Not happy with how he's feeling. Mm. I'm definitely not happy with the way he's feeling. The pen has stopped and these two are in bits. There must be more to this story. I am sorry. <laughs> but for the level that it's on and everything that's happened over the past 11 years, it was either going to be bitter or sweet. And I had to be bitter about it. And I know how nasty that sounds. That's not that way. You told me you had a 10 years of your friendship. It's not a 10 years. I at least would have come from 10 years before that. It's bollocks. It's not a 10 years. That's what you just said, mate. Yeah, but it's made me feel like I was tired of being an underdog all the time. And to tell someone like you, as in the person, the proud person that you are, you probably wouldn't have accepted it. No, of course we would, mate. That really asked us for a chat. We're best mate for sake. But what does the toe symbolise? That's what I'm trying to get at. The symbolise. What does it symbolise? What is a couple of Ladies pictures? man, non-stop. I mean, yeah, okay, I've been in solid relationships. But I've never been that f***ing ladylike. It bugs me. That upsets me. You, you drop me on a night out for a f***ing bird. As a brother, that deteriorated. Yeah, fair, fair, fair. And if you don't watch yourself, something's gonna happen. And I will be the one to pick up the pieces. That's just a warning. Harrison is worried about PJ sleeping around, so he's made PJ a walking advert of STIs. Yeah, good mate. Can we see some of the words that are on there? Yeah. Do you wanna, should we go back to the mirror? Yeah, I can do. <sighs> do you wanna stand back on the skull, um, PJ? Out of curiosity, um, have you got any of those? Nah, I'm fairly clean, mate. Because <laughs> you do know it's going to be quite hard to get girls now. If I could go back in time, I'd have calmed it a whole new level. I didn't think he was going to act like this. I didn't have a clue. That tattoo is off the scowl. Now remember, if you're going to shag, wrap up! Be safe! <laughs>